This is Twit. Hey everybody, my name is Shannon Morse and I'm the producer of Before You Buy. Woo! Today I'm checking out the new Oloclip lenses and accessories for the iPhone 5, 5S, and iPod Touch, newest generation. So, Tony had previously reviewed the original Oloclip and he gave it a buy. Today I'm going to determine if the new Oloclip accessories and lenses still stand up to the same name. So first off is the quick flip case. This goes on your iPhone 5 or 5S or your iPod Touch and it is $50 straight up. It's very plasticky. It does not protect your case, your iPhone very well, but it is perfect for taking pictures with the Oloclip lenses. You can also use it without an Oloclip lens by just flipping over the case and using this as a brand new shutter button. Oh, it makes it so much easier and steadier than having to press the button on your phone every single time you want to take a picture. So, pretty cool. Second off, I checked out the three-in-one macro lens. So this one is $70 and it gives you three different macro lenses that you can use on the same little kit. Uh, one of them screws off and it gives you seven times macro, 14 times, and 21 times. The Biggest flaw I found with this one is that you really honestly have to have a tripod if you want to use this and not have blurry pictures every time you get close to something, especially if it's your cat and they're moving around and you want to get pretty cute little pictures of their whiskers. Very, very hard to do. The third one I was checking out is the 4-in-1 photo lens, also for iPhone 5, 5S, and iPod Touch newest generations. This one also costs $70, and it includes a fisheye, wide-angle lens, a 15 times macro, and a 10 times macro. I found this one to be much easier to use, especially if I wanted to take pictures just handheld of my cats or my ring or whatever I have in my household. It was much easier to use. It was very simple. I was able to just unscrew the lenses and that's quite simple to use as well and take pictures with all four of the different lenses that are included in this kit. Uh, the picture quality came out just like you would expect from an iPhone and fisheye and wide angle lens pictures looked really, really cool and quite stunning and vibrant and very clear. So I was very happy with the, the quality of this lens. The third one that I checked out, well the fourth product, third lens, is the telephoto and circular polarizing lens. So this one costs a little bit extra and it just has two lenses. It's a hundred dollars for this one. It's the brand new big spanking new Oloclip lens. Uh, it includes the telephoto on one side and the polarizing on the other. So the thing with this one is if you're outside and you want to take pictures and not have too much glare or you want to get some really stunning vibrant pictures of the sky, you just tilt and turn the polarizing effect to the point that you are happy. You can definitely see a really big difference with the quality of the color of the sky and things like that whenever you're turning the polarizing lens from right to left. The telephoto lens is really cool as well. This one gives you two times the zoom that your iPhone can usually get. So if you're at a zoo and you're looking at really, really big cats, you can get really close pictures of them and they are still very clear and very crisp and beautiful. I had a lot of fun playing with each of these. They all include extra accessories if you want them, like a little bag, which can also be doubled as a cleaning kit for your lenses. Very useful, as well as cute little lens caps and an adapter for your iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and move on to my pros and cons. Since each of these are all Eclipse lenses and all of them work and fit the same way on the iPhone, I decided to go ahead and include all my pros and cons into one list. So first off, the pros. Each of these have excellent quality. The design is very nice. Included in that design is a very snug fit. So whenever you're using your phone and you're out in the wilderness taking pictures of your friends hiking or whatever, you're not going to have to worry about your lens falling off, especially since it's very pricey. And third, it's a compact size, so you can just throw it in your pocket, take it out whenever you need to. Very cool. Now on the con side, of course, the screen protector, since it is a very snug fit, will tend to get damaged or come off on the edge of your camera whenever you're trying to put on the Oloclip lens. It's because it's such a snug fit. So yes, that is a con because you won't be able to protect your entire screen whenever you're using one of these. Uh, and if you can get it on there, good on you. 
And second, they are very expensive. Each of them are over $50 uh, if you want to purchase them online, and they're not that much cheaper on Amazon. So it's definitely an expense if you want to get into this kind of criteria. So would I give these a buy, try, or don't buy? Well, these are definitely for the obsessive photographers. These are for the guys that are going to go out and take pictures on Instagram like all day. The people that have thousands of followers on Instagram. So I would give these a buy, especially if you are a big time photographer and you have an iPhone and you plan to keep your iPhone for a long time. If you don't intend to keep your iPhone or if you plan to upgrade or change over to an Android phone, might not be the product for you, obviously. So again, I'm Shannon Morse, and this is the new Oloclip accessory line for the iPhone 5, 5S, and the iPod Touch. And I'll see you guys back in the studio. Bye.